In this video, you will learn words related to basic electronic engineering, namely parts names and verbs used for assembling a circuit. I hope this video is an interest to some who want to know about these words in Japanese. When assembling a circuit on a circuit board, the first word you may hear is HANDA. We write sometimes in kanji, sometimes in hiragana, and sometimes in katakana, but it's referring to soldier. We call a soldiering iron handangote. So where does this word come from? It's obviously not an English word. According to the Japan Weldering Engineering Society website, there are three theories about the origin of this word. Theory number one is that the name came from either Handa Mine in Fukushima Prefecture or from Banda Island. However, both places don't produce tin, which is an ingredient for soldiers, so it's very unlikely the origin. Theory number two is that since brazen technology came from China, the word in Chinese has changed to Handa. According to the Japan Weldering Engineering Society website, this is also unlikely. While the original word was possibly Hanra, it was actually pronounced Ronra at the time when the technology came to Japan. The last theory is that because soldier contains half tin and half lead, it was perhaps half and half and we say Han Handa, which became Handa. The website says that this is probably the strongest theory about the origin of the word. Lots of words used in electronic engineering are kanji words, not katakana words. Perhaps because hardware engineering is deeply embedded with the Japanese identity. Even the word for computer was originally not a katakana word. It was denshikeisanki. It's the same word as calculator, and this word for a computer is still used in the official government document. Let's get to the parts names. The term for register in Japanese is teikouki, although it's common to simply say teiko. The unit for measuring resistance is pronounced as ohm. For example, you can say これは4.7kOhmの抵抗です。This is a 4.7kOhm resistor. Capacitor is condenser, and the unit for measuring capacitance is pronounced as farado. For example, このコンデンサーの容量は1000マイクロファラドです。The capacitor's capacitance is 1000 uh, microfarad. Good news is that coil is koiru. The unit for measuring inductance is henri. When I write the unit in Japanese, you notice that there's a long sound at the end, but actually no one writes this in katakana, but just use H. Circuit board is kiban. In Japanese, the term for electrical network or circuit is kairo. To specify circuits that involve passive components, you can use denki kairo, where denki means electric. For circuits that involve active components, such as transistors, diodes, or ICs, you can refer to them as denshi kairo. Denshi means electrons. IC can be simply referred as IC as well, but it's also called shūseki kairo. Some other commonly used words are denyen means power supply, nūryoku means input. To use as a verb, you can say nūryoku suru, shūryoku means output. To use as a verb, you can also add suru to say shūtsuroku suru. Zōfuku is a noun, but zōfuku suru means to amplify. Buhin is parts. Soshi is component. 
Hai sen is wiring, but you can also say Hai sen suru to use as a verb. Rajio penchi is needle nose plier. Pinsetto is tweezers. Here's a simple circuit using a capacitor. これは放電回路です。放電回路 is a discharge circuit. スイッチを電源側に接続するとコンデンサーが充電されます。When you connect the switch to the side of the power supply, the capacitor is charged. 充電する means to accumulate electrical energy. And 接続する means to connect. 充電が終わったらスイッチを電球側に接続すると電球がつきます。When it's charged, turn the switch to connect to the light bulb side. It lights up. When explaining engineering content, we use many formal expressions. I hope this video helped you with a bit of understanding about Japanese hardware engineering terms and expressions. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. If you have any requests for Japanese language topics to be covered, please comment on the comment section below. You can also check your grammar understanding by answering daily quiz on the post. Thank you for watching.